Sammy Sosa needs to make amends with the Chicago Cubs. At least that's the organization's point of view. I'm Jim Basquiat with the latest ESPN headline. Sosa was not invited to the 100-year anniversary ceremony at Wrigley Field on Wednesday. A Cubs spokesman did say there are some things Sammy needs to look at and consider prior to having an engagement with the team. That team is covered by Jesse Rogers, who covers the Cubs for ESPNChicago.com. And he joins us on the phone with more insight and Jesse, why wasn't Sammy invited to that 100-year anniversary ceremony? Yeah, it's a little murky, but he has not had a great relationship with the team going back over a decade. You know, his last year here was 2004. He walked out on the team on the final day of the season. He wasn't always the most popular teammate, even while hitting all those home runs in the, in the late 90s. I think he needs to repair things with his former teammates more than anyone with the team. In fact, there's new ownership there, a new front office. I don't think the issue is with uh, the front office or ownership in Sammy Sosa. It's with some of those former teammates like Kerry Wood and guys like that. So, yeah, I think Sammy has a little work to do, and until that happens, we're not going to see him back at Wrigley Field. Jesse, this is a player that had 609 career home runs, 293 of those came at Wrigley Field, three seasons of 60-plus home runs, but it's well known that his name was on the 2003 list of players involved with PEDs. How much do you suppose that plays in the current fractured relationship with the Cubs organization? You know, I thought maybe more, but after today I'm thinking it's not as big a deal. I actually asked Commissioner Bud Selig if he was in good standing with the league. You know, we've seen some of the other guys like Mark McGuire uh, come back to the game but have to hold that press conference and admit his wrongdoings and, and sort of do a mea culpa. We haven't seen Sammy Sosa do that. But Bud said, no, this is between the Cubs and Sammy Sosa. So I don't think the rumored PED use has uh, much to do with this whole situation, especially 10 years out now. We're kind of past it. I really have, I think it has to do with those former teammates. The last thing the Cubs and Cubs ownership wants is an awkward situation if there's some bad blood still brewing and it hasn't been resolved and then Sammy shows up. So I, I think it, it more has to do with those relationships uh, needing repair more than anything. Jesse Rogers covers the Cubs for ESPNChicago.com. Jesse, thanks for the insight. Okay, take care. Again, Sammy Sosa hoping his number one day will get retired at Wrigley Field, but that relationship with the organization needs to improve. You can read more about this story right here on ESPN.com. With the latest ESPN headlines, I'm Jim Basquiat.